Not all men are our brothers. I want to make this clear. Now, I'm not, again, for the, for the millionth time, I'm not MGTOW. <clears throat> I'm just a red pill guy. But I support MGTOW because MGTOW speaks the same truths that I speak. And MGTOW believes the same red pill truths that I believe. So in a sense, red pill guys and MGTOW guys are brothers. The difference is, is that MGTOW guys have fully walked away from women. Simply red pill guys have not done that. But I want to make a clear distinction here because some, some guys just don't quite get it. Now, I understand in a sense that the, the, the red pill truths and the things that we talk about in the red pill, these things are experienced by all men. But all men are not our brothers. Okay, all men are not our brothers. All men, even though they are in danger of the same things that we are, the difference is, is that we admit these truths. Not all men accept these truths. You see, not all men are going to take the red pill. That's just a fact. That's, that's exactly how it was in the film. You, you have a choice. You take the red pill or you take the blue pill. The blue pill, you stay in your little narrative. You stay in your little um, dream world. You don't accept reality. You, you, you make excuses. You, um, you find ways to you know, blend in with the current narrative. Many men have done this. This is what male feminists do. This is what simps do. This is what white knights do. This is what beta male orbiters do manginas these guys these these pussy apologists these pussy panders these pussy you know su um supplicating to pussy right oh baby I'm, I'm different i'm not like those other guys i i support feminism i'm all i'm, I'm all for it. see these guys do that because they want to fool themselves they want to fool themselves that you know, she really loves you. It's not about your money. She really loves you. It's not about the fact that you let her cuck you. She really loves you. It's not, you know, these guys make all these excuses because they just, they, they can't accept reality. And many people can't. Many people cannot accept reality. Just like with conspiracy theories. You, t you, you, you put the truth out in front of someone's face. And you say, look, man, here's evidence. It's right freaking here. People can't accept that because... The convenient lie is better than the inconvenient truth. Now I see this sometimes with MGTOW guys, and the, and, the, and they'll they'll say things like this. Now this is one one of the things that I saw on my Facebook. Um, he says there's this. Uh, he shared this article: 83 year old woman brutally beaten, burned during home invasion dies and, and this is shared in a mig this is shared in a MGTOW group on Facebook mind you and then he says this is what brothers do to give MGTOW a bad name okay how are these guys our brothers how 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 are those guys our brothers those guys aren't our brothers and if you click on the link it doesn't say anything about them being MGTOW so like I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about I think some guys think that just because you're a male, you're somehow we're, we're, we're somehow all in this together. Now, maybe in an egalitarian sense, we can use the word MGTOW. We can we can say, yeah, MGTOW guys, or excuse, excuse me, not MGTOW. Maybe in an egalitarian sense, we can use the term men. Men in a greater sense, we're, you know, we're all men. But it doesn't mean we're brothers. Just because we're all men does not mean we're brothers. You have to understand that not everybody is going, excuse me, not everybody is going to accept the red pill truth, okay? And in fact, many men attack red pill men and MGTOW men. They call us incels, they call us terrorists, they call us losers, they say we're misogynists. We hate women, this, that, and the third. Many, I've been attacked by men, gosh, almost as much as women over the years of my sharing red pill truths on social media. Okay, almost as much, really. I would say maybe 70 30, which is not quite almost, but you know, it's still a great deal. 70% women have attacked me, 30% men have attacked me. That's still a, a pretty good chunk. 
okay? A lot of, lot of men, a lot of men attack you. A lot of men, man. So just because a guy's, just because it's, it's a male does not mean, yeah, he totally is my brother and he accepts everything that I accept. And no, man, no, 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 no. The only, our only brothers in the red pill are other red pill guys who, who have taken the red pill, who have gone, who, who go through what we go through, who agree with what we agree with and who see things from our perspective. Those are our brothers. So, you know, be careful. Be careful because don't think that just because they're a man that they're that they're on our team. They're they they you know that, that they support us or we or you know we should support them. No, because they're they're still in the they're still in the matrix, man. They're still in that blue pill world, and they will fight to defend it. Just like Morpheus said, they will fight to defend it. They will fight because they don't want their narrative cracked. They are dependent on the system. They are hopelessly dependent and inert in this system, right? And um, we, that's why they attack us, because we tell the truths that they don't want to talk about. We tell the truths that they don't want to think about. You know, it, it has to take them getting their heart broke. It has to take them, you know, being beaten down by women. It has to take certain events. And some men ne never leave the matrix. Some men never wake up. For whatever reason, you know, whether they're too good looking or whether they're just too, they got too much soy in their veins, they got too, they're, 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 they got low testosterone, they're just such low self-esteem, they're just so sucking up to women that they just, and they've been so brainwashed by society gynocentrism, they've been so trained by single mothers and, you know, messed up women who are feminists. It's an evil thing, man. It's insidious. It's a it's an energy, bro. So these guys aren't supporting us. Then they're in fact they're really our enemies because they will fight against us to protect their their women. The white knight is probably the worst. You know, you could you could lump all these men into that category of the white knight. Okay, he's he's defending a woman's honor when there is no honor to defend. The woman is not honorable, right? But he's defending her simply because she's a woman. This makes him this really makes him a, he's a misogynist really because he's saying oh women can't defend themselves or I'm going to I'm going to defend the bad behavior of women because it benefits me to do so and I'm going to get rewarded for it bro that's not a real man and that's certainly not our brother in MGTOW alright so I just want to make this quick video to to make that point not all men out here are our brothers guys alright it's been Jay Lee with Northwest Podcast thanks for listening peace